Welcome to Curb Pavement 2011. I'm at the foothills of the Sierra Mountains here. I'm about to cross this paved road, and the next paved road will be 23 days later, about 300 miles north in Yosemite. Let's go. Guess I better take the camera. I'm hiding out under a pipeline for the California Aqueduct. It's uh, one of the few shady places around. Yesterday it was 104 degrees in this area, and today it feels like it could be just as warm. It's not a lot of fun right now. It's a warm one. I'm sizzling out here like a piece of bacon on a frying pan. It's hot. That's the highway near where I camped for night one. Now I'm way back up in the hills. It's day four. I'm making my way towards Kennedy Meadows. Finally up in the mountains and it's a little bit cooler. It's still warmer than I'd like, but it's a lot less brutal than the last three days. So, gotta pick up the pace and try to get back on schedule. Now I'm officially on the Pacific Crest Trail, headed north, crossing the South Fork of the Kern River. This mountain launcher. I'm supposed to camp up on the shoulder up there tonight if I can make it. It's a long ways up there, but uh, I'm gonna keep on going. Right up there is where I'd like to camp. Just left my cache site at Horseshoe Meadow. Cache was there and intact, all is good. So now I'm resupplied and on the go, trying to make up some time. Headed up to Whitney in two days. It's day eight, getting ready to break camp here at Chicken Spring Lake and head over closer to Mount Whitney. Last night there was a big rock fall up there somewhere. In my tent I heard what sounded like a gunshot and then just a rumbling for like 15 seconds. I don't see any signs of it this morning though. Would not have wanted to be camped underneath it. It was scary from all the way back here. It's my first real good look at Mount Whitney. That's where I'll be tomorrow afternoon, right up on top. Way up there. It's day nine and I'm on a side hike up to the summit of Mount Whitney. There she is at Guitar Lake, still headed up to Whitney. Still headed up to Whitney. I feel like I'm on top of the world, but I just passed Trails Crest. So I have another about 1,500 feet to go all the way to the summit. It's still going up that way. Getting close to the summit. Looks like there might be a snow crossing near the top.
We are at the snow crossing. Luckily there's a nice ridge gouge formed in the snow here so they can walk all the way up. So this is not the place you would want to slip because it's a long ways down. Oh, here we go. I brought micro spikes with me, but don't need them here. This is not too bad. Yay! Made it to the top of Mount Whitney. Whew. Long ways up from Crab Tree Meadow. Views are great all the way around. Ah, hope you don't get dizzy. Hope I don't get dizzy. There's the route up right there. Right on the back side of those pinnacles. All the way down. Out in the distance is Olancha Peak. That's where I camped about four nights ago. Up on the shoulder of the mountain way out there. And now looking down to the city of Lone Pine. It's way out there. And to the north where I'm headed, Mammoth and Yosemite way out there. About 14 days away. I gotta go that way. That way, through all those big mountains. Looking at the back side of Mount Whitney, that's where I was yesterday, right up on the very top. That's where I'm headed, all the way up Tyndall Creek to Forester Pass, which is right up in that area, up in there. It's the highest pass along this trail. Great views from Bighorn Plateau. Still headed up to Forester Pass. Still don't see where the trail goes, but uh, somehow the trail goes right through that notch, right there. So the switchbacks have to be below that. Several people have warned me not to try it tonight because the other side is gnarly with snow and really no trail at all. So I think I'm going to make camp up here by a little lake and call it a night and hit it in the morning. Checking out the sun cupped snow. It's pretty cool. Oh hey, there's Mr. Shadow. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen him in snow before. How you doing, Mr. Shadow? Welcome to the Sierras. Marmot. Marmot. How you doing, Marmot? How's life today, huh? Oh, don't like that. Some people standing in the top of the pass right now. That's where I'm headed. Fortunately, I'm still way down here where I camped last night. I'll get there, though. Still making my way up Forester Pass. See where the trail zigzags up the peak, right? Ahead of me. Right in there are the switchbacks. Go all the way to the top. I 
I made it to the top of Forester Pass. Feels good. It's a long ways up, but uh, now I'm looking down to the other side. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of snow. Uh, there's a guy coming up through it right now. So uh, I might have to put on the micro spikes and fight through it. Looking down into the Kings River drainage now. Finally leaving the Kern River drainage behind. Okay, heading into my first real snow field, so I'm gonna put on the uh, put on the micro spikes. Put these guys on and see how they work. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Which I win. Pull them back like that. Now I got a little extra, a little extra traction. <laughs> Shoes are holding up so far, about halfway down the snowfield. Day 11, Forester Pass. Bubs Creek. So that's the direction I'm headed up towards Paradise Valley. But first, I have to go down Kings Canyon a few miles to get my resupply at Road's End. Let's see what he's got. Mist Falls. All right, it's day 14. After trying to go off trail up Muro Blanco Canyon yesterday, I had to turn around. It was too brushy, too tough. It was taking far too long. So now I'm back around, going the long way, back on the John Muir Trail, headed north. So uh, now I gotta go even faster to make up some time. Let's go. It's a pretty crazy suspension bridge here. Very bouncy. 